Light jigging and slow jigging, what is the difference? So I'll explain each one to be able to make it easy to understand the difference between the two. So light jigging is basically conventional jigging with lighter jigs and lighter PE. A light jigging rod, for example, this MP3 is designed for a much lighter jig than a slow jigging combo that is also a P3. The jigs you use for light jigging are a lot more conventional as well. You use a really weighted jig and long slender shaped jigs, but the technique for light jigging is still the conventional lift and crank and you're targeting active fish. You're not, you're not doing the slow jigging with the, I think I'm on. <coughs> I'm on. <laughs> so, light jigging is as I said, you're still, the whole idea is targeting active fish that are active in the water column and your lure is going up through them, getting those active fish to chase that lure. The reason it's light jigging is the size of your braids, the size and weight of the jigs. This is a light jigging rod. This is a PE3 light jigging rod. This is only rated to a 100 gram lure. A PE3 slow jigging rod, the one I was using in my last video, is rated up to 350 grams. Well, it's a PE24, so but it's rated up to 350 gram lure, so that's one of your key differences. So light jigging, conventional jigs, conventional jigging techniques, it's targeting active fish in the column, so you're lifting, you can do it slow or fast, doesn't really matter, but you're targeting active fish, and it's all about the retrieve of the jig in the, in the water column. Fighting a fish on a light jigging stuff is more about using the rod as well, not just holding it and cranking it. So this is a light jigging rod, this is the AMP3 light jigging rod. You look at this rod when it loads, it doesn't load, it loads very evenly and very slowly. So this is the AMP slow jigging rod, same thing. It's a PE 2 to 4, so around that PE 3 range. Check out the taper on there. See how the tip folds away a lot quicker? That's all what slow jigging is about, is getting that action. Basic explanation of slow jigging. Slow jigging is a lot more to do with the rod, and it's completely different, very specific jigs. The slow jigging jig is designed specifically for slow jigging. And it's center balance jig and it's all about the flutter. It's about targeting inactive fish rather than light jigging is about targeting active fish. So I'm, what I'm trying to do here is imitate a bait fish, bait that can't really leave the area and is in the zone for a lot longer than when you do light jigging. The technique is slow jigging. All I'm going to be doing is quarter to half turn cranks on the handle of the reel, and all the action is imparted in the lure through this slow jigging rod. So the rod is set up to run 150 to 350 gram jigs. That's a big difference to the light jigging rod that has a maximum of 100. So we're running 150 gram jig right now, and every time I crank this handle, that rod tip will bounce away, and that's where I get my action. So slow jigging is all about the rod doing the work for you. Quarter turn, half turn, that rod bounces down, pulls the jig back up. That's where all the action is in the jig. You see I'm getting a bit. Getting a few bites. That bounce of the rod, there we go. It's on. So that does all the action for you. Now that I'm hooked up, I can simply just rest that the butt of the rod in my armpit and basically just crank this fish up. It's a completely different bite to a light jigging combo and a completely different, completely different way 
to retrieve that dig. Targeting inactive fish, sort of forcing them to bite by bouncing this thing very erratically but not moving much through the column. Light jigging is all about a lot of movement imparted by you and cranking on the reel. So you can see the top jig, that's a slow jigging jig, designed specifically for slow jigging. You can see the size and thickness of that jig. You can tell it's very symmetrical as opposed to this is, an, is a slow bat designed for light jigging. Long, cylindrical, so it's capable of doing the speed as well as it will flutter as well, but it's more about the speed on the retrieve, getting that high lift. So you imagine slow jigging, you get a smaller bait for the weight. So with slow jigging, it's very important to match the rod that you're using with the weight of the lure that you're going to be using. So you've sort of got to guess with where you're fishing, what the current's going to be like, the depth of water that you're going to be in, to determine the size of the jig that you need. But it's very important to make sure that that jig weight is perfectly set in the, in the middle of the range of that rod to get the best action out of that lure because that's, that's why they're designed. They're designed as a pair to the weight of that lure to match that rod. In summary, light jigging, you're sort of targeting active fish. It's more about moving that jig up through the column, targeting fish that are a lot more active. Slow jigging is targeting inactive fish, typically closer to the bottom, much slower retrieve. I wouldn't say, you know, I'm slow jigging for these fish. I wouldn't say they're that inactive because I cannot get a jig to the bottom without my pesty leather jacket eating it. <laughs> so hopefully that that sums it up in a basic thing. Light jigging, the same weight rod, same PE rating of rod. Can't handle big heavy jigs that you can use when you're slow jigging. Slow jigging rods are specifically designed for big jigs. And I can handle immense amount of pressure. Well guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you want to find out what I'm up to on a day-to-day -day basis, just jump on any one of my other social media pages. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm constantly putting up a couple of videos a week now to keep you guys entertained. Otherwise, this has been Dean Sylvester, fishing my way.